Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. If you're still using these three marketing tactics I'm about to talk to you about in this podcast, you are actually hurting your brand's credibility. I know you need good marketing. I know you need to increase the sales in your business. I know you need to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. But if you are doing the following three things, you definitely are headed no way fast. Now, I understand as coaches and consultants, we're always hungry for new customers, new clients, and growth strategies that actually work. And I also want to just come right off the bat and explain and really differentiate what a customer is and what a client is. Now, a customer is somebody who buys from you once and then they go off because they just wanted to try out your product, your services, and figure out what it is that you're actually doing. And a client is somebody who buy, who comes back to you again and again and again. Now, as coaches and consultants, our goal is to have as, as many clients that suit our lifestyle, our capacity, and our our actual provision of services okay so some people might actually be well and truly good with maybe 12 clients right that pay maybe a minimum of three thousand dollars a month and that would actually create a very good uh, recurring revenue and i think it might actually reach up to maybe three hundred thousand to about five hundred thousand or something like that at the end of the day just find out what your number is okay and like i said as coaches and consultants we're always hungry to grow our business to get new clients and find growth strategies that work and let me tell you what, the growth gurus and the deceptive Facebook ads out there, they actually know this. So what do they do? They use this emotional trigger, you know, this uh, trigger-based marketing tactics, and they convince coaches, consultants, and entrepreneurs, you know, to buy their courses or their services or to go into their deceptive groups. Obviously, these are questionable marketing tactics, and I'm going to explain to you why they are, because half of the time, they actually tend to uh, lead to, maybe if you use them, you get a lot of refund requests from your customers, you know, chargebacks, and you actually have, you know, clients that won't want to do business with you ever again, because they feel cheated, all right? So even if you provide something of value, how you market it will affect the sales depending on your approach. How you reach to the audience, you know, will determine whether they're going to stay with you or not. Now, I know that right now you are on a journey. You really want to build a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I absolutely understand that you will be looking out for tricks and tactics for you to actually, um, you know, become profitable and enjoyable. I really want to, you know, tell you that you don't need to sacrifice your income to do what you love. You can absolutely have both. We'll be able to walk you through a simple step-by-step -step plan on how you can easily do this. And if um, you haven't come across our stuff at all, you can get that at www.livelongdigital.com.au forward slash OPB livelongdigital.com.au forward slash OPB. Now, I know you're you know, a coach or a consultant and you're providing something of value, you probably have a course or you probably have podcasts like this or you have tools and strategies that can give transformation to your, um, you know, end client or end customers. But like I said, how you actually market these tools and strategies will affect the sales and depending on your approach and how you lend these sales, you will be able to to actually um, grow your business in a, in a in a way that is actually um, nice and easy for yourself. Now, as you build out your marketing strategy, I want you to avoid these 
three commonly used marketing tactics that I see every time I scroll on my Facebook because they tie you into that culture of, yeah, bro, yeah, I'm an online guru, yeah, $20,000 months, all of that gobbledog. I want you to consider a different approach before you um, use these tactics in detail, um, you know, for your business growth. Because I, I can imagine when I am a customer or as a customer, I've always hated marketing and advertising. All right. Up until I started to understand it, because now my job is to help co coaches, consultants, and um, entrepreneurs to actually sell their businesses by driving leads. And then we help them harvest those leads, then convert them into happy clients that pay, stay, and, rever and refer. And all of that will be done with automation, independent of the coach or consultant. Um, you know, and it's all done in a systematic format with predictable results. You know, I used to hate how you know, marketing actually triggered some of my fears and made me less than incapable. And it actually tries to manipulate me into a cell. Have you ever gone to other people's pages and you start seeing them displaying revenue screenshots? Please don't do that. Especially if you're in Australia where we've got the tall poppy syndrome and, you know, you just got to do enough to get by, you know, it, it actually puts people off. I don't know about you, but it, it does put people off a lot. So, of course, one of those things that I've noticed as I entered into this business world and as a business owner was how much fear was rooted in the coaching industry. You know, people actually beat you to submission to accept them. Um, you know, their methodologies or whatever it is, or shame you into wanting to be part of the journey that they're on. And if you don't accept or if you don't agree with their philosophies, whoa, you become their worst enemy. And pretty much all of that sales and marketing drives around copywriting, which is fear based. And let me tell you something. If you're offering a transformation, you actually need to be encouraging the dreams of the people that you want to help. You need to be justifying their failures. You need to be confirming all the suspicions that they already have on the way to the top and throw rocks at their enemies. The last thing you want to be doing is maybe displaying revenue screenshots, which actually make you attachable to them. Now, these days, I know it's very common for entrepreneurs or coaches or gurus to display maybe a Stripe or PayPal revenue screenshots on, on social media. Half of them are fake anyway, because if you look up online, um, you know, Stripe uh, social, or, or if you look up on Google and look up Stripe, um, you know, values that you want, you can actually get those screenshots readily available. And people are sharing them in groups, which actually makes it very, very deceptive that people are actually making that kind of money um, online. You know how I see that you're making money? Um, it's it's the symbols, okay? How you speak, who you're connected with, maybe how you present yourself, and just the look and feel of your website or your content. It actually tells and it shows that you're coming from depth, all right? And, you, you know, you could just maybe try and put lipstick on a pig. But guess what? If it rains or if it jumps into the mud, that pig still remains a pig. So these days, a lot of these entrepreneurs, they're displaying this stripe um, revenue screenshots on social media or even on their website. Um, there's no doubt that the customers that actually start getting drawn to seeing these sales, um, big numbers are desperate customers. But... Let me tell you why that is, because they are hungry to get that kind of money immediately. And I think it's a very toxic marketing strategy. You know, it may generate sales in the short term, but it actually repels high end clients and more um, potential clients in the long term. Because maybe you're talking about, say, you just made a $20,000 mark and somebody's wearing a $20,000 watch and they could actually still be your customer, but you're bragging about making $20,000 in gross revenue, which you haven't talked about the affiliates that helped you make that money. You haven't talked about the taxes you're going to pay on that money. You haven't talked about the outsourcing that you're doing to get that money come through so try and not really mention and stay away from 
you know, mentioning money. I know on my page, I'm talking about taking people from 200K to 2 million. That is a justified um, segment of the market. And there's people between the 200K to the 2 million uh, market. And there's 850,000 of those businesses in Australia. So by me, you know, segmenting my audience, you know, referencing that revenue, I'm actually just saying, if you're not making this much, I may not be of help to you. Or if you're already making past 2 million, I may not be of reference to you. I'm not showing screenshots or I'm not showing receipts of investments or whatever I'm investing in. You know, all that stuff, it's it's pointless. You want to be helping people to get from where they are to where they want to be on their own terms and what it means to them, not what you think or what you value. All right. So the people that might be drawn to, you know, to seeing these numbers, it's customers who buy based on what they see in these revenue screenshots. They usually tend to be in a very challenging financial position and they just need to generate income quickly. Now, they aren't in a place to focus on what actually makes um, all of that work happen or what increases revenue or value amongst you know other coaches or me too consultants out there and i know one thing for sure they absolutely end up disappointed when they you know they, they buy as a result of this flashy marketing so I, I want you to just stop now and look at this real wealth real money and growth it doesn't self-advertise you know have you ever seen business leaders like elon musk uh, jeff bezos or oprah posting revenue screenshots. Yes, people talk about how much they have, but I've never seen Oprah saying, you get money, you get money, you get money, you get a million dollars, you get a billion dollars. Is it? Is that what she says? The result you know, that your customers experience are a better way to actually market your business. Show how your customers are maybe getting that revenue, not how much money people are paying you, you know? And publish solid content like podcasts or, you know, um, books or ebooks that actually show that you can help people by actually helping them. And this solid content then can help you nurture cold prospects because they then engage with you in their own time and um, space. And you actually start separating yourself from guru marketing by relentlessly focusing on serving your customers instead of using these outdated marketing tactics that you actually need to leave in the past where they belong. All right. So, you know, at first, I, 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 I despaired. I fell into the rabbit hole of, you know, this whole guru spectrum. And then I realized that, you know, one who has really made a difference in life does not go about taunting and showing his pockets, man. It doesn't work like that, you know? And half of the time, some people that do that, it's just a cry out of they don't have anything else to talk about, which is why when you now have clients and you can share their successes, et cetera, et cetera, you also want to share those client wins within context. Because some people are just sharing client wins with no attribution. You know, have you ever seen these gurus or entrepreneurs posting about clients getting X results, but they never name or tag these clients? It's like the clients never exist. You know, the clients they're posting about may very well be experiencing these wins, but in a guru marketing world, your customer is always skeptical. Show them who out there is actually getting those results that you are talking about and how are they utilizing whatever, um, you know, joy they're finding within your, your, your business or connectivity they have with you. You know, because some, I understand that some clients prefer to remain private, especially if they're really doing well and they don't want you to share their information. That's understandable. But more than a few of your clients would welcome a shout out especially if you're really good at what you're doing, because it's also by association. They now become your ambassadors because they're now part of your community and they wouldn't mind you, yes, touting um, you know, their successes. 
you know you will have clients later on that will be comfortable with you sharing their wins and that's a given and if you're doing a really good job guess what yes people would want to be spoken about and the only way that you would know is to ask so if you've actually done a really good job for people and you know you 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 can actually sit down with them interview them where were they before they met you and where are they now and what is it that you did for them to get to where they are now because the goal is to show that your business offers what it is that you're doing and what you're sharing with your clients is the result that your prospects are looking for so obviously get permission where possible don't just share wins that don't appear um real to your prospects or to cold customers you know and one of the thing is keep it fresh because if you're marketing to people out there try not to utilize results from ages ago or try not to utilize uh, media or publicity from ages ago you know there's usually a 5 to 10 year um you know leeway anything after that is a little bit old you know why because technology has changed systems have changed maybe you're an accountant that you know used to get results for people before uh, the cloud so maybe you are not proficient in the new systems and processes that are happening in these days you know cuz over your years in business I, i no doubt you would have had a few wins here and there and i know you got results for your customers and um you know for your you know uh, people that were involved in your business and your prospects want to know all about that and in marketing your goal is to prove that your philosophy your processes your systems actually work and they're current and mainly through marketing the results you and your clients have experienced that's how your prospects get to know like and trust who you are you know but however a few growth focused entrepreneurs out there they they just keep working in the forefront of the industry and they're not really innovating or changing their methodologies meaning yes they were good back then but they would fall flat on their face when new technology shows up you know and they are not getting a good result and they're just marketing the wings that they had years prior to what they're doing now i mean it's acceptable to market the results you've obtained in the past but ask yourself if you continue to do the work that you did in the past will you still get the same result with today's circumstances and situations so when people are coming cold on your website or on your um landing pages you know they want to see fresh they want to see current they want to see innovation all right and if you're marketing old results it might actually put you in the old basket and people might not even um inquire and it will actually dissuade them from doing business with you you know because our prospects right now want to do business with industry leaders and you become an industry leader by constantly honing your craft and putting work in to make sure that you are always in front of the curve And one of the best ways to grow your business is by doing work that optimizes your own personal growth. Because if you're still saying things that you were saying in 1981 and if you haven't changed, then man, I don't know. All right? And you want to commit to becoming the best at what you do and always be on the cutting edge. You know? So if you're going to increase sales in your business, you need to obviously do good marketing. However, there's a way to market your business more authentically. And just try and avoid these tactics that I've wor- I've I've spoken about. That may work for a little while, but eventually they will hurt your credibility. So if you still think that getting clients is hard, I want you to think again because I want you to go from where you are to where you want to be and in this instance we work with people that have at least exceeded the 200k mark and they want to reach the 2 million dollar mark especially within the next 2 years. We've got a widely controversial system that we're using and it actually breaks every rule in the marketing playbook and that's the reason why I came to you with these three things that you actually have to throw out of your toolbox because they are hurting your brand's cr- credibility okay I-, I know that you don't have to sacrifice your income to do what you love you can have both let us walk you through the simple step by step plan so that you can actually have a business that's profitable and enjoyable and you will get this by scheduling a call with us um 
on www.livelongdigital.com.au forward slash OPB. OPB. And OPB stands for Online Prosperity Blueprint. Okay? I just want you to know um, uh, or ask you a question. How do you feel to turn away business? You because you now have too many clients buying from you. Okay, we need you, and we can teach you how to carve out your own market. And while others are struggling to compete, you know why? Because they're using marketing tactics that are hurting their credibility. I'll see you on the other side. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital Community. Become a Live Long Digital Community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the Live Long Digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.